Well, the game is changing. Like I said, I said I'm a, I'm always go back to that. The game is a lot different now. And as a promo guy, you build your career by building artists. Um, Cassie was probably my first, you know, when me and Ryan was like, yo, I have this chick and I have this record. And this record's insane. The record's called Me and You. Mm -hmm. We need to break this record. She's unsigned. We're going to do this thing independently. We're going to go into one of these labels and get a great deal. And it's going to pop off. But we need to break this record. So when you start doing stuff like that, and then you're working in the label system, you're working young. At that time, I was that bad boy. So it was Young Jock. It was Gorilla Zoe. It was Loon. It was a bunch of people. So when the Cassie thing came about, it was like I'm hands-on involved in it. It's like this is almost my project. So if I can see it to the point where I'm taking you off the streets, and bringing you to a label, why at that point would I let you go? That's when the real money comes. You know what I'm saying? The real money doesn't come from taking it from the streets to the label. The real money comes when you're actually get her to the label. And your budgets open up and there's road money and there's all kinds of stuff going on. Why would I get you from here to here and not have any stake in you beyond that point? Same thing with Sherry Dennis. Like, it disgusted me that I broke I Love You. You know what I mean? Because I broke it from when shared from zero spins to whatever she ended up with, that was my record. We broke it outside the Bad Boy system. Bad Boy had nothing to do with that at first. Ryan produced and wrote that record. And he was like, I need to get this record out to the world. Plus, Sherry's a dope artist. But she's been here for eight years and they haven't done anything with her. When I took that record from here to here, it disgusted me that now that she's popping and moving, that I basically just made a bunch of people, for however long it was, Maybe it was only one year, maybe it was a five month run, whatever it was. I made that people, I made these people that much money during that time period, but I was on the outside looking in. And I told myself then, I said I would never do that again. So I only want to work artists, I only, I only want to work records of artists that I manage. Because I don't never want to get to that point where I'm not a part of the equation anymore when I created the situation. So I'm never going to do that again. Um, well, Cass, we broke Cassie's record through Next Selection. Obviously, Ryan Leslie's Next Selection, Chris Irie, Corey Guns. Um, I got Olivia now. Um, so, you know, it, it stuff is moving. You know what I mean? Um, had a group called Unladylike Side of Def Jam. Um, so, you know, it's, 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 not a, it's not a who's who yet. But when you're coming in, we're creating a buzz. And Ryan is really, really doing what he's doing. And I think Chris is next. And Olivia has great music coming. So I think with those three people, and you don't want to spread yourself too thin. So you never want to just take on people or try to get clients. I want to build a brand, but I want to build my brand as I either resurrect or build other brands. So Olivia, who has been out, but, you know, she's had situations that weren't always in her best interest. Um, running around with a rap, with a rap group and you know, doesn't display her talent. So now that we get a chance to resurrect that and bring it from where people are like, yo, you know, well, we know her from this, but that's not really her. So now that's all part of building a brand. Chris Ivory, we brought from, you know, Los Angeles, California, homeless ministry, cancer survivor, to a hit record on the radio next to you. You know what I'm saying? That's building a brand. So I'm not really interested in jumping on a situation that's already moving. I like to create my own situation because I'm kind of OCD and I like to be, a, you know, like kind of make sure, like, what my vision is every vision. So my vision is your vision. And a lot of times when you have people that are already established, they have a vision. They know what they want to do. But I don't really need to be a part of something if you already know what it is. I'm here to build and we're going to build together. We're going to win together. We're going to lose together. So. And that's, that's where that's kind of the way I It goes both ways. Sometimes you just see a situation out there where um, you're like, okay, what's missing from this situation? Or like Chris Ivory Ryan was like, you're rich. You've done such, you've done a great job, you know, and we've worked together. We have a good relationship. I want to sign this girl to my to my subsidiary next election. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I need you to be the day-to-day -day person because I know you can do it. I know you want to do it, this is what you aspire to do, but I've seen you and how you work together with me and what we've done. I need you to have your own situation. So I'm gonna like Chris Ivory needs to be working with you because that would you know that would give you a situation to build. And then once you so that was one part of it when somebody just, you know, kinda calls you in. Then there's another situation where like you might know a person like 
I knew somebody that knew Olivia. And they were like, yo, you need to meet her. Because I don't know what you know about her, but you need to meet her because she's mi what she's missing is you. So and if that's the case, then you just, it's undeniable. You meet and it's like, well, this is what it is. And I'm like, well, this is what it is for me. And the next thing you know, we're saying the same thing. So it's almost like a, a chemistry that you can't deny. And it's like, oh, wow, this is dope. Like, I, I got to work with you now because, you know, what you lack is what I bring to the table. And how can we not have a great team if what I have, you don't have, and what I don't have, you bring? How can you lose? And that's basically how it goes. I don't know. It's just a lot of money. I put myself back in the poorhouse. Um, number, you know, specific numbers. I don't know. I have to get. I have to speak to my accountant. But I've definitely done a lot of flights. I've definitely done a lot of promotions. Um, and then I get paid to do stuff, and I get paid handsomely to do stuff. But obviously, if you're my artist, then I'm doing it for free, because that's sort of my expertise in this field. So if you want to take the money that I've lost. By putting out Sherry Dennis's I Love You and not getting a dime. Or now me and Ryan are making a lot of money together. See, but that's, that's the other part of it. Is that you have to have the confidence in your artist to say that I'm going to invest in you right now. I'm going to invest in Chris Ivory. I'm going to go work this record for free. Not get my, you know, a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 worth of money. I'm not going to go get that. Because I know that once we break this record... There's going to be a bunch of money for us to get. So, you know, at, at first it's, you know, seventy five, eighty, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars I've spent on breaking artists and doing it out of my pocket. Over the last five years, I could honestly say I've probably thrown away a quarter million dollars on trying to get some stuff up and running. But I've made a lot of money once it's come back. So it's hard for me to say I spent two hundred and fifty because I've made I mean it's, I can't I can't tell you how much money I've made with Ryan Leslie doing walkthroughs or shows or, you know, now that we're universally excited about him, you know, I get paid to break his records every time. So now I get an handsome amount of money from these different places. So it's almost like you invest in what you believe in, you expose your product, you believe in your product, and hopefully the, the circle runs its gamut and the money comes back to you. But it's absolutely expensive in the beginning. That's why you can't take on a hundred clients. You can only really take on what you really believe in. And it's not everything ain't sweet. Sometimes it's holiday in. Sometimes it's not the W. Sometimes it's Howard Johnson. You know what I mean? But when it's a struggle, it's we struggle together. So later on we win together.